G'day guys, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can convert a DVD using a program called Handbrake. Now this program is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, so it's very good in that regard. And also, it's very easy to do so. So what we're going to need to do is head over to handbrake.fr, uh, and you want to just click on the download Handbrake, the latest version. Uh, there's also going to be a little other thing that we're going to need. This is optional if you plan to actually convert a DVD. Uh, so if we head over to this page right here, uh, this is videoland.org, the same people that have created VLC uh, Media Player. And now what we need to do is we need to select the version of libdvd CSS. So there's a few here. Um, if you're using Linux, you'd probably use these two. Uh, but if you're using Mac, what you could do is you could actually head over here and just click on the libdvd CSS package. You can install that one, and that's an installer. Uh, for Windows, though, you need to find out what sort of Windows uh, version you're using. If you already know that, that's good. Um, select the one out of those. If you don't know what version of Windows you are using, head to Start, All Programs, and then go to Accessories, and then go to System Tools and then system information right there. And so what you can see here is it says system type x64 base, that's mine. If yours says 32, then you wanna select x32. So we're gonna select Windows 64, and then here you wanna download that and just install that. So now once you've installed a handbrake and you've got those two down, what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, head over to your program files now, depending on not, if you have a Windows 32-bit, 32-bit uh, system, um, or a 64-bit, it'll install it to whichever folder. So I've got it on 64-bit. We're going to head over to Handbrake, and then right in here, we basically just want to drag into that file, and that's what we want to do. We we'll click on Continue, and uh, so there you go. So you've got that installed now. Now we can actually open up Handbrake and start to convert DVDs and video files. So let's open up Handbrake. And so there we go. Now what we can do is we can load up our DVD or video file. Now to do that, you just go up to source here. And from here, you could actually select a video TS folder. That's if you've copied the whole DVD already. Or you can open a file, a single file. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this one right here. And this is our DVD. So what it's going to do now is it's going to scan all of the titles on the DVD um, to make sure that they're all there and they're functioning. And what this is also going to do is it's going to capture all of the chapters. Um, so if you have, like, for example, this is uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, it's got a lot of different um, it's got a lot of different episodes in it, and so it's going to basically find all of those different episodes and put them, you know, sort of categorize them into tiles or titles, I should say. So once this is done, what we can do is we can focus on uh, pretty much generating and uh, rendering these uh, these files. So what we're gonna actually be converting them to today is the Android. So Android right here. Uh, you could use iPad, you could use iPod, whatever you wanna do. Um, this is just going to allow your device to look more like it's made. It's like it's going to actually convert the video file to make it look more like it's suitable for that device. So what you can see here is title. We've got all of the different titles. So the first one actually pretty much combines everything in the DVD, and that could also include extras if the DVD has extras. So what we really want to do is we want to find our first video file. So this is probably episode one right here, 21 minutes. And then right here, you can see all of that. You can just leave that, that's fine. Uh, from here, we need to select an area for where we're gonna save it. So let's just call it here, Fresh Prince. Something like that, episode episode one. I don't know, something like that. That'll be fine. Uh, and so now what we wanna do is we wanna select Android. Well, that's what I'm gonna be doing today anyways. Uh, we can also, select uh, basically the subtitles. So if you want to ins insert subtitles, you can actually do so. Uh, right here, add track, and then just add new track. 
Uh, and so right here, it's already going to come up with the, the tracks that have you know been detected in the DVD. Now, you can add multiple tracks if you really wanted to. You could add a new track, and then you could have one um, as, you know, Spanish. So pretty cool. The other thing here that you might want to turn off is burn in. Uh, burn in, what this is going to do is it's going to burn in the subtitles, and you can't remove them, and that's very annoying. So I recommend turning that off. And so that way you've got the option to turn on subtitles if you want to. Uh, so that's really cool there. Once you've done that, you can check out some of the other settings. Uh, pretty much for the most part, you don't really need to change any of these because these profiles right here have been, you know, sort of catered to those devices. Like if we were to choose like an iPad, I mean, it's pretty much the same, right? It's, it's pretty much the same. But uh, what it's going to do is it's going to optimize it for that device. Anyways, we're going to add that there. And uh, yeah, there we go. So now what I recommend you guys do is click on Show Queue. Now, click on, click on Show Queue. And what you can do is we can just click on Add to Queue. And so from there, you can see that this is episode one. We've got that. And we can just simply click on Start. Simple as that. So what it's going to do now is it's going to prepare to encode it. It's going to start encoding pretty much very fast, actually. It's going to start to do it pretty fast. You can see it's already up to 1%. Uh, so it's actually doing it at a very good um, rate. It is going to take a little bit of time to do you know, a whole DVD. But once you've done that, you will have basically, um, you know, you'll basically have that, that file. And there it is right there, um, all rendered. So it's pretty easy. Uh, you can also do this for video files if you want to, uh, you know, kind of convert different video files to different devices. Very helpful and um, something that I use, you know, every now and then as well. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave some love and leave a like. If you have any questions, um, you know, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely try to help you out. Uh, as for things like Blu-ray discs, um, that's something I haven't tried out yet. So if I get that question... Uh, Blu-ray discs, I haven't really tried it out, so this is really just for DVDs and different video files out there. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, uh, and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!